Hey, Nerdy Sports Fan here, and we're giving out draft grades. We're into the NFC East, have already done the Giants, so let's get into Washington. Now, Ron Rivera is... He is really what Washington needed. All right? Anybody who's a Washington fan and anybody around the league who's just a big football fan understands that Daniel Snyder has been the worst thing for this franchise. He's terrible. He's probably the worst owner in sport. And I'm sorry that Washington fans have to deal with him. It's a storied franchise, and you don't deserve it. Wouldn't hurt to get rid of the racist team name, though. Just saying. Um, so, first round pick, Chase Young, no-brainer. Okay? Um, obviously, the best talent in this draft, period. He just didn't play quarterback, so... The Bengals weren't going to select him, and you get the benefit of getting the best player in the draft at number two. So that's big. Chase Young is a freak. Okay, he has a fantastic get off on the line of scrimmage, and it's not talked about enough that Nick Bosa, who everybody knows was a freak, a freak coming out of college. Okay, he was an immediate day one impact. So Nick Bosa gets injured, and Ohio State doesn't miss a beat. Why? Chase Young. Okay? That's how good Chase Young is. I'm anticipating a Nick Bosa kind of production level out of him immediately. So you get that kind of talent. I don't care where you get him in the draft. You don't expect somebody to contribute on that high a level that quickly when they come into the league. And in this case, I am expecting it. And it'll happen. So, later on, not another pick until the third round. Okay. Antonio Gibson is a whatever kind of talent. You know, it, it's... There were other receivers available that... Maybe were faster or taller or, or had better college production. I think that the third round was a weird round for receivers in general. The Bills threw away a pick in the third round on a receiver that nobody's freaking heard of, too. So um, I'm not faulting Washington for this. This has been a weird year. But I think that pick is more of a getting stuck in your own thought hole than honestly thinking about what other teams are valuing people at because you easily could have gotten him as late as the fifth. Now, later on in the draft, I really like the Kalike Hudson pick. The linebacker out of Michigan um, coming from a program that's pro style on defense. I, I think that Kalike Hudson has a serious chance to actually make the team and work into this roster and get significant time. He's the kind of guy who's probably going to play 20 to 30% of the snaps and then eventually work his way into a more regular role. But getting a player like that as deep as the fifth round is really beneficial for a team. He's going to be an immediate special teams contributor and can easily develop into a solid starter for you. Now, outside of that, I think, for the most part, everybody was really just drafted around where they should have been. Um, Gandy Golden and uh, Charles and Ishmael, all of them kind of fell as where they were expected to be. And they are positions of need, so I, I appreciate um, getting them in general. I, I think you're filling the holes. So... This roster has to turn around. It has to become Ron Rivera's roster. And he's putting his stamp on it. You have a weird question at quarterback. And a lot of people thought quarterback should have been addressed in this draft. Do you really think that you have the guy? I'm not so sure that two coaches that you had last year weren't so sure and 
it remains to be seen what the current coaching staff thinks of him because unfortunately with the pandemic, nobody's actually been able to talk to each other and get significant time in to get a feel for one another. So I feel like Ron Rivera was hamstrung. And until you know that you want to turn your back on your former first round draft pick quarterback, you kind of have to roll with them. So that's really the position that I feel Ron Rivera had himself stuck in. I don't think he could have done much better than he did in this draft. Again, I don't really necessarily like the Antonio Gibson pick where he was picked up, but Chase Young's fantastic, and you did well enough later in the draft to really make up for it. So I'm giving Ron Rivera's first draft as a Washington coach a solid B. You, um, yeah, you, you kind of knew that Chase Young was going to be the pick from the beginning. You're really just grading the rest of this, and it was okay. So I I think that Ron Rivera just needs to invest in the culture. And once that happens, we're going to be able to gauge these picks a little better. We don't know who these people are going to be replacing. Also, on a draft day trade, getting rid of Trent Williams, I probably should have given the the draft a little bit less of a grade because they did not get the return they really needed to get for Trent Williams. Uh, seriously. What was it, a, a third and a fifth rounder? Come on. I'm upset my team didn't trade for him from you because Trent Williams is one of the best tackles this league has. The best. People were tr- drafting round one tackles uh, in the top five that are not going to play as well as Trent Williams. So, yeah, you should have gotten more for the guy. Just everybody kind of knew that he wasn't going to play for you anymore. So maybe everybody was just waiting for you to cut him and not offering you much in return. I, I can accept that. But... Yeah, it's a hard sell. I just feel like you should have gotten so much more for Trent Williams. Uh, A second round pick would have been hard to swallow, but I I understand that that's probably the max of what you would have gotten. But I I do think a second rounder is the minimum that you should have gotten as well from from your own perspective. So that's where I'm at with the Trent Williams thing. Um, Again, I give the draft a B. It's a liberal B because of how bad the return on Trent Williams was. But, man, Chase Young is just so damn good. That's going to spackle over a lot of holes for this team and this draft. So hit up the rest of my videos. Check out what I think of what the other teams around the league have done. And like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Thanks for watching.